Hey everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher, and, and welcome, welcome to, to Forest, Forest Life. Life. So um, did not do well here. Oh. Um so we 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 uh no well. We've been sprucing up right around Carlos' house lately. Yeah, and today is his last day. So, so like we made it nice just in time. We're gonna go over here and say goodbye to him. <laughs> Bye, Carlos. We made your house nice for you to His leave. house looks good over here, too, though. Gotta it's build like a it. nice little... You like... gotta sell that real estate. Can't keep that yeah, area fine. empty. Hey, Carlos. Right. Let's say goodbye to him. Carlos is in Hi, yes, sweetie. It's my last day. Last chance to chat like this. I'm packing all my stuff right now. You know, trying to get ready for tomorrow's big move. Tomorrow's big I won't move. ever forget about you. Make sure you do the same for me and never stop dancing. Never stop dancing. So, Carlos is, like, one of the ones that, like, I liked. I didn't mind. Yeah, um, I, like I didn't hate him. But he wanted to leave, and we decided to let him go to get, yeah. him, uh, just to get some different people in here, mm-hmm. just to see what they look like and see who they are. Chances are we'll probably get somebody crappy, but maybe we'll get somebody. Cool. I mean, after <laughs> ha- after Paula, all of my <laughs> dreams have been crushed. Yeah. Do you think that she's designed after Paula Abdul? I hope not. Me too. I straight up. Just, ooh. Hey, check it out. We got a fossil, There's and a then perfect. Thingy. Just leave it forever. We can't. We'd have to, like, bury it. Honestly. Oh, even worse. Great. Bamboo's gonna grow here. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we need to chop it down. Um, yeah, do you want to chop this one down? Yeah, you, you said you wanted to chop yeah, it. I know right? I said that, but I don't know if we were still... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like I gotta go buy an axe. <laughs> Brian, please. Oh, this bamboo didn't do good here either. Why you no do good? No do good. This got too much shit. Too much shit right there. That's okay. That's I'm right. packing it in there. We'll just see how it's, just how it's keep going. going. Speaking of packing it in, we're going to pack it in for National Days. National Days. today is no exception. And first and foremost, we're packing it in in a brown bag because today is National Brown Bag It Day. <laughs> I just imagine someone lighting shit on fire on someone's porch because you're like... Pack it into that brown bag. Let me begin. I came to battle. <laughs> well, that started out not strong and didn't end strong either. <laughs> <laughs> it was weak all around. Weak sauce. I like that you were just hanging your head, like, down over there. Couldn't tell if you were, like, hanging your head in defeat or if you're trying to read. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Well, today is uh, br- uh, National Brown Baguette Day. Taking your lunch to work or school is an effective way to save money and to ensure you and your family are eating healthy. Eat healthy. So bring uh, basically today's bring your lunch. What to work What if you day. only bring butter though to work? <laughs> if all I've got it's just butter is eight sticks of butter, <laughs> just eat it to them like a candy bar. And I don't yeah. like to have leftovers. <laughs> You freaking eight sticks of butter, but you don't like to have leftovers? Yeah. You have to eat them all, then. All eight sticks of butter. <sighs> Ridiculous. How many? How many oh, man, that would be so many. Like, that, you'd be so sick. So many calories? Yeah. Hey, the meteor shower is tonight. Oh, nice. Too bad. Rococo chair. A fine Rococo chair. I think that was yesterday, though. It was. Um, let's put some fertilizer over here. All right. Next to the flower. So, Brittany. I'm trying to get more of these these bad boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Brittany, I got good news for you. Yeah? Today is National Tap Dancing Day. Oh, shit. So, but... <laughs> That's not what tap dancing sounds like That's at all. our hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's our hands on the desk. So, incorporating complex rhythms, step combinations, performers often express enormous amounts of character through sound and bodily movement. From clogging to buck and wing styles, soft shoe to sand step and a little bit of jazz. Sandstorm? (laughs) Tap dancing evolved from a stiff Irish jig to the bodily cakewalk and vocal ring shout. Man, you just just said a bunch of words. (laughs) That's exactly what I was just going to say. This was a lot of words. You just said a lot of words over there. Brittany, you know, I actually learned how to do jazz uh, tap dancing back in the day. Mm -hmm. And and by learned, I mean I was in classes where they, they taught me how to do like certain sounds with my feet. And I did it. 
<laughs> it was actually a lot of fun. It's a really stupid feeling, but it was fun. A snow cone tank. Nice. Have you ever thought about tap dancing? Nah, I've thought about it, but... Have you ever have you ever wore tap dancing shoes? No. They are the best things ever. I might get Don't you some for your... snow cone. I'm going to get you some tap dancing shoes for your birthday, and you'll never take them off, I promise you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any rhythm, though. I don't think I'd be able to it tap dance. It doesn't matter. Hey, Katrina's in town. You absolutely will not be able to tap dance. Doesn't matter. You're going to make a bunch <laughs> gonna of noise. You're going to pretend like I'm tap dancing? It's just like... No, no. It, it, you can just like make a step, and it goes... Chicka, 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 chicka. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what? What? Love it. It just makes a shit ton of noise. Well, you can keep telling me about national days while I get my fortune read. I'm going to because you're going to love this next national day. Yeah, what's the next Today national day? Today is National Wine Day. Oh, shit. Oh, Am I a shit. white woman? I love wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Actually, I don't think wine is that great. You know what I love, though, is wine tastings, because it's just a tiny little bit in your glass, and you can just, like, muster the taste, and then you'll get drunk eventually, and then By the all end of the, the day, all the wine's delicious. great. So we have a group of friends, um, and they love to go wine tasting. They love wine, so I always tag along with them. And if you've never been wine tasting, it's really nice, especially, like, where we lived, uh, where we grew up, because it's, like, the wine valley of North Carolina, basically. Yeah, Yadkin Valley. And there's just a shit ton of wineries that are really close together. So you go and you pay like seven to eight dollars and you get to taste like seven to eight wines mm-hmm. and you get to keep the wine glass. And then they're so close together and you go to all these different places and you will get fucked up yep. on a Sunday afternoon. Um, and I, then I always end up buying like a bottle of wine at the very last place that yeah, we go to. Yeah, you're like, to. this is so and good. And I'm like, this is so, so, so good, such good wine. And then I get home like later and I try it and it tastes like crap <laughs> and i'm like oh i was just drunk and thought this tasted delicious uh-huh and it's like i don't like dry wines i like sweet wines so i'm like a moscato person mm-hmm. um we love the moscato wine at olive garden if that says anything <laughs> yeah yeah so. that's my favorite wine yeah um i actually generally drink uh champagne i prefer champagne over wine that's so, me though. But yeah, that gives you guys some idea of our palates. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I appreciate wine day. Uh I was gushing over the Italian champagne that Mika introduced us to mm-hmm. to Mika while I was hanging out with them the other day. <laughs> you, know, you were telling her about this delicious wine that, that she told that us about. Yeah. About. And she was we and her just went back and forth about how good it was. Oh, I thought you were telling her like I've had this most delicious like No, no, I wasn't informing her of this oh, okay. champagne that she informed me about. That's what I thought was happening. That's funny though. Yeah, I thought you were just like No, I was just saying thanks. And I was like, oh, man, me and Brittany had it on New Year's Eve and blah, 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 What's blah. What's the pink azaleas, I think? Move over to the pink ones. Um, but that's not it, Brittany. Um, so wine is made from fermented grapes or other fruits. Uh, it's an alcoholic beverage. And during the fermentation process, yeast consumes the sugars and the grapes, converting it into an alcohol. Different grapes produce different wines, and winemakers will combine different wines to create more complex flavors. Wine made from fruit or honey are often named according to the variety of fruit used. So, have you ever? What, what's the weirdest wine you've ever had? Like, what's the weirdest like, uh, like, uh, like fruit that was used? So, my grandpa used to make homemade wine. Mm-hmm. Uh, he started out with just grape wine, yeah, because uh, he had a grape vine in his backyard. Yeah, but then he started going to the store and getting like juice concentrates and like making different flavors. Mm-hmm. And he made like a fruit punch wine one time, mm-hmm. and it was just like fermented juicy juice. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and it was really sweet and really good. But um, yeah, my grandpa got a little weird and got a little weird with his wine making. Yeah. Um, so. So yeah. I've had um I've had banana wine before. Ooh. Yeah, that was that's a weird one. And um I thought it was going to be awesome. It was not good. It was the not good. Oh. That's unfortunate. It was real weird. Um and I was kind of disappointed, but yeah, yeah that's life. <laughs> well, you took that in stride. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Well, Bernie, we've got one more National Day left. Yeah. And it's kind of a weird one. Are you familiar 
with the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, yes. I've tried to watch the movie before, but I've lost interest and stopped watching it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. So I'm familiar with the concept of it. Well, today is National Towel Day, which is observed annually by fans of Douglas Adams. Uh, Towel Day commemorates the work of the author most known for his book, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Towel Day was created in 2001 by Douglas Adams fans as a tribute to the author two weeks after his death on May 11th of that year. Hmm. So, I... Um, I think the... I never got that far, so I don't really know what the towel's about. I think the joke... I got it to the, this part where they're, like, literally got on the spaceship. Well, I think the joke is, is that he was wearing nothing but a towel. Mm-hmm. And that's all he has when he leaves the planet. Um, I don't remember that. I'm right? not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. So, but uh, for all of you, like, uh, Douglas Adams fan and Hitchhikers fans, I know they're out there, because I have a couple of friends who are big fans. Mm-hmm. Uh, today's Tal Day. Tal Day. But that's not it, Brittany. Whoa, there's more? No, that's it for National Days, but there's more things to talk about, because we're going to celebrate birthdays! Birthdays! ba 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 birthdays <laughs> As Brittany likes to do. Yep. Uh, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Happy birthday, you. Um, we really appreciate you guys tuning in every single day, especially on your birthday. Um, if it's your birthday today, please leave us a message. We'd like to tell you a uh, happy birthday in the comments. Happy birthday. All right. Again. Again. <laughs> uh, we got several really interesting, cool people that are on your birthday. Uh, first and foremost, we got Mike Myers. Mike Myers turns 55 years old today, Mike. born in 1963. Good old Mike. The comedian, actor, singer, and screenwriter who won four American Comedy Awards for Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shacked Me, and Gold Member. He provided the voice for Shrek and starred in Wayne's World. Yeah, buddy. So, quite... Give me some Shrek up in here. Mm -hmm. I'm accidentally in love. <laughs> That's kind of gross. What? Yeah, from Shrek 2. <laughs> it's still a Shrek reference. <laughs> Alright, Brittany. It would have been better if you had said, like, that Mike Myers was the hero that you needed. No, I would have been better if I had said he was an all-star. No. No. No, no, Superman, no here. No, that's low hanging fruit. You gotta go for the deep, the deep cuts. Okay. You could say that something about your come drop buttons. I don't know. <laughs> Damn it, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Shrek in years. I'm sorry if I'm not getting the deep cuts God, that you need. Get it together, Ryan. Thought you were a true Shrek fan. I've actually seen Wayne's World more recently than I've seen Shrek. Really? Yeah. Well, Shrek's on Netflix, so you better get to it. I guess so. Well, Brittany, that's not it. It's also Sir Ian McKellen's birthday. Mm hmm Born in uh, 1939, he turned 79 years old today. The longtime actor who became immortalized as Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings franchise, he played the mythanthropic mutant Magneto in the X-Men movies and narrated the 2007 fantasy film Stardust. He was also cast as Cogsworth in the 2017 film Beauty and the Beast. Beauty! So yeah, he's been on, he's been in some stuff. He's also actually best friends with uh, with uh, Patrick Stewart. Mm -hmm. They hang out all the time. They do, like constantly. I know, right? Oh my God, you two <laughs> get a room already. <laughs> get a best friends room. I know. Um, but yeah. So, what's your favorite movie with him in it? Um. Uh, Probably like one of the X Men movies. Yeah, honestly, he was, I mean, he's really great in the first few X Men movies. Yeah, even the like terrible X Men like, Three movie. Yeah, he's still pretty good in it. Even though he's like a bad guy, but he's Magneto. But he's Magneto. So. Magneto is my, one of my favorite Did you say that villains. He's magnificent. Magnificent, Brittany. I'm, I'm going to approve that. <laughs> Train's going by. Train going by. Don't jump in the train's way. It's going nope. by. It's going by, and you don't want to be in front of it. <sighs> What's going on, Frigga? Uh, I'd have to say that, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. I <laughs> oh, for sure, Chica. I spotted them after midnight. The UFOs come out late. Oranges. Unidentified oranges. 
all over my floor. Oh, those UFOs think they're tricky. Wow. But I refuse to have any strange citrus going rogue in my house. They make a great midnight snack. Okay. That was, that was great. <laughs> but yeah, I have to say that uh, while I love the X-Men, I'd say he uh, he's definitely still my favorite as Gandalf. And the Lord of the Rings stuff. Especially, uh, especially when in the second movie. Mm-hmm. Because it's supposed to that moment when he, at the end of the, the battle, light. and there's just like the light shining behind him, and he looks majestic he as looks fuck. Like Jesus. He looks like, yeah, he does. He looks like Jesus. I'm a Jesus wizard. Jesus wizard. Jesus wizard. And finally, uh, we have Frank Oz's birthday. Frank Oz. Frank Oz turns 74 years old today. I can't believe that's the case. Born in 1944, the puppeteer and voice actor behind the iconic characters such as Yoda, Cookie Monster, and Miss Piggy, he co-directed The Dark Crystal with Jim Henson, then went on to direct the films The Muppets, Take Manhattan, and Little Shop of Horrors. In 2005, he voiced a robot in the film Zathra. So that guy's done a bit of stuff. Yeah. He's actually also in Blues Brothers for like two minutes at the very beginning of the film when uh when um uh jake is getting out of the slammer uh and he's getting all his stuff all of his possessions Mm -hmm. uh he's getting it from frank oz oh okay and it's one of the few times you'll ever actually see the actual frank oz in a film i was like trying to figure out why that name was so familiar and the first thing I thought of was like, oh, it's the author of The Wizard of Oz. Of course, of course. <laughs> Frank Oz. I'm sure he's never gotten that before. <laughs> What's the name of the person who wrote? I have no idea. It's way before his time. Yeah, I know, but I don't know why I thought that. Well, Brittany, we got one last birthday, and that is Derwin the Duck. Derwin the Duck. Derwin the Duck likes official and beige things, but nothing rock. No don't rocks. get him any rock don't shit. Any rock shit. He will throw it back in your face. He'll roll it in your face. Rolling around at the speed of face. I don't even know where to go with that. (laughs) Good. Cool. I didn't want you to go anywhere with it. It's mine. It's mine, and I want it now. It's mine, and I need it now. J.G. Wentworth, 877 Rock Now. He's not a sponsor of us, so don't get excited, everybody. We don't have any of that J.G. Wentworth money. We don't have any of that J.G. Wentworth money. Even though it is my money and I need it now. I know. <laughs> he should give it to us already. Right? Jeez. Quit holding it above our heads. I know. Okay, so I felt like we did pretty good with the gradient over here. Now I'm going to start just putting, like, red over okay. here. Okay. Just red. We're well, just going to, like, put red everywhere. Brittany, I have to say, this week you've been working on this corner, and I think you've got it. I think you've just about got it. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel pretty good. I mean, tomorrow this is going to be a big blank spot, but... Yeah. We'll see what happens tomorrow, then. It'll be Saturday. We can fill in the the gap in our heart with uh, with uh, KK Slider. That's true. That's yeah. true. Tomorrow's KK. Yeah. I'll put all these yellow ones here. So how do you, how do you feel about today? You feel like today is yeah, it's a good day. A good day. Yeah. You ready to wrap up for today? Yeah, let's or go. Do ahead. you want me to go ahead and fill in the no? Nah, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Let's finish it up tomorrow. Yeah, we'll fill it in tomorrow. But yeah, this is looking good. This is looking especially good over here because it's like starting to grow up. Uh huh. So. Yeah, it's starting to look normal again. Yeah. So yeah, it's looking good. Nice and nice and woodsy. Nice and woodsy. woodsy. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching us today. Oh, I just had an idea. Oh boy. What if I planted a tree here and then chopped it down, and cool. then there was like a little stump here? to sit on all right well you let's like do that, that tomorrow yeah okay yeah we'll do that tomorrow because <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to end the episode, i know i just had an idea and i like wanted, right to, s- I wanted it. to say it before i got the idea just write it down <laughs> do <Dear> diary <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody Bye, guys we'll see you tomorrow we'll plant that tree bye